Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Gemini. Hello Gemini, and happy birthday to all you June uh, Geminis. Welcome to your June 2015 Tarot Scope and Animal Totem Card. Let's get right into it. If you are wanting to come out. I'm still using this thing because I need my hands to play music. Uh, so beating them with the cards is not the greatest thing. So what's up for Gemini? Well, something's going the wrong way in here. So they turn the wrong way, I always take them out kind of flip over in my hand. Boy, come on Gemini, what's going on with you guys? This is your birthday month for a lot of you. You know, your birthday month is your solar return. is a very powerful time to do some big time manifestation. Some big time manifesting, big time. Any changes you want to make in your life, now is the time to do it. Okay. Well, you know, it's, it's showing wheel in reverse. So sometimes you know, a lot of you might have been kind of on a down swoop here lately. The wheel goes up, things are kind of looking up. The wheel goes down, things are kind of looking down. Um, and there does seem to be like maybe there was some money stuff going on here. We had to, mm, I got to pay this bill, borrow Peter to pay for, for Paul or whatever like this. And it's put some um, some stress on you. Yeah, I'm feeling like some of this stress is coming from an outside person on you guys too. I'm feeling like it's either your child or maybe your spouse. Like it's you're, you there's more there's a little bit of resentment. I feel like you're not totally resentment, you know, you know you got to take care of it, but like maybe some of you your kid got into trouble and you got to pay the bill for it. Or your husband or wife, you know, did this or that and now you got to keep up with the money. And or you know, it's like, um, I mean, in some cases, maybe it was something unavoidable, but I'm not really feeling that. Like, maybe, I hope not, but maybe somebody got ill and you had to kind of help out that way. I mean, that's whatever, but I'm feeling more like it's, you're, you're kind of ticked off because it's because of their, uh, in your mind, foolish behavior or something they've screwed up, basically. That's what I'm hearing, that now you got to fix it. Now you got to try to finagle things and work it out and, and fix it and stuff like that. There's a solution, but you got to get quiet. I know that's hard for you, Gemini's, because you are in your mind. That's your that's your strong point. You're very mentally adept, and you do like to solve problems through, you know, um, your mind and deduction and logic and reason. Um, that I'm feeling like you, you there's you're kind of busy. Your mind is getting kind of busy here. And if you calm down, um, there's a there's a very good solution for this. There's a there's something actually very good coming for you this month. It may not be what you're hoping for. I just heard they're not going to repent too. What's that stuff? <laughs> repent. What are we in? You know, Catholic Church here. Repent. <laughs> the person. See, I'm feeling like this Queen of Pentacles is the one who disappoints you. Could be Queen King. Who I mean, it could be male, female, female, whoever. Your wish is not coming true right next to them. And again, Pentacles could just be the money person. You know, so I'm feeling more like, I mean, this could be they, they don't give you the raise or they don't give you the promotion or something like that. But I'm feeling more like it's not really that. Uh, I feel this, again, is, for a lot of you, is somebody in your personal life. Your spouse, your child, your parent. You know, you're gonna, that you're obligated to kind of help out here and, and you're not happy about it. And... Um, I just got real strong, like some of you may be wanting your parents to move too, and they're not ready to do it. Whatever this is, this person is not going to do it. They're not ready. So if you want them to hire you, they're not ready. If um, maybe they have an expensive habit, they're not ready to give it up. Or, you know, they're, they're, they're not ready to give up where they're at. And I feel like you want them to. 
I think it would make you feel, you feel that it would make your life easier if they were to just change. Well, you can never change anybody's anything, right? You can only change yourself and you can only change how you react to them. Um, I'm getting real strong, like some people want to move their parent into an assisted living or a smaller house or a smaller apartment, and they don't want to do it. Uh, that's coming through really strong for some. That's going to be for some of you. And that's, if that's the case, it says strength, have pain. I think that eventually they will, but they have to come to it on their own. Um, if this is your spouse or whoever and you want them to cut corners or shop at a discount store or whatever, you know, try to trim the budget or not be so extravagant with the money or, or consult you, they're not ready to do that either. You know, they're just not. Whatever this is, it has to come from within the other person. High Priestess here. This comes from within. No amount of outward badgering or shaming or trying to push somebody to do something is going to do it. And, you know, this feels real strong like a Taurus energy. And Taurus are very stubborn. They're not going to budge. They're not going to do anything. Um, or if, if, you, if this is your parent or somebody and you're trying to say, well, you should sell your house and invest your money and do this and this, they're like, hell no. They're just like, mm. That's just going to make them dig in more. And it's not that you have bad ideas. I don't think that you're, maybe it is a logical good idea for them to sell their house and invest the money and do this or that. Uh, but they don't, it's the way you're coming off with it. It's not that the idea itself is bad, because you're an ideas person. You're very good at ideas. I don't feel like you have a bad idea. I feel that the pushing of it and trying to force somebody to do it, you know, to see things your way is is not the right approach. They're gonna have to come to it on yourself. You gotta be as subtle. I'm picking up subtlety will, will will take you very far. No matter what this is, even if this isn't your parent, maybe this is your boss at work. You know, and they're they want to do a certain thing with the company, and you're trying to you see a better way. Your mentally mind is always working. You say, well, here's how we could cut corners, and here's how we can do this, 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 and this, and they're like, mm mm. So it's better to just throw out these little subtle, I'm seeing like soft, like feathers, you know, feathers instead of um, arrows, you know, uh, let, let, let these little feather of ideas kind of just gently float down. So you're clever enough, you know, you're very clever, you could think of the better ways to do it, you know, put your mind to work on that. <laughs> How can I subtly just suggest it? You know, and, and make the, almost like make them think it's their idea, basically. You know, that's kind of what I'm getting at. And don't let the ego say, well, that was my idea. If, if it gets you where you want to be, you know, if it gets them to sell the house or change the business or stop the spending, then it's going to, you'll be happier. You'll be more satisfied and more happy. It's definitely telling you to back off. Herman in reverse strength, these are all cards, high priestess, back off. Don't, you got that sword out, like, you know, and I'm right, and maybe you are right, you know, maybe your idea is good. I feel like your idea is good. Your ideas are good. Like I say, you're the ideas person. But that's not going to get you the result that you want. You know, you gotta, you got to be a little more subtle, a little more uh, strategic, <laughs> you know, uh, and it, it, making somebody feel bad. You know, you can't make somebody feel bad about themselves or like they're stupid. You know, maybe your older parent is getting a little slow or having a little time. Don't just be like, well, well, well give it to me. Let me do it, you know. Okay. Let, you know, here you go. Don't be like that. Chill. Relax. Um, again, all that mental activity of yours, you could use it in different ways, in a more subtle way, a more um, coaxing, a more... Um, Less pushy. Don't be so pushy with these people. And I know that's not usually your your way, Gemini, but that's what I'm getting. But I think it's important to you. Like, I think you, and you know it's the timing. You feel like the timing's right. You feel like the timing's right. But here's what I think that wheel in reverse could not, maybe the timing isn't right. The timing's not right for them. Okay? Plain and simple. So as soon as they're ready, they're going to come around. All you can do is gentle persuasion. You definitely got to back off with this strength and hermit here. Back off, back off, back off. Um, High Priestess says, you know, you guys could be getting some stuff. High Priestess is intuitive stuff. Ask for a dream. Ask for a dream. Ask to be shown a way. Um, 
again, instead of chattering around in their mind, why are they wrong, why are they wrong, they need to do this, they need to do this, silence, stop, listen, listen, you know, definitely listen. Um, and I think it's just going to come to you, or there's, like, it's just like this soft, this blanket, this soft energy is just kind of, just kind of coming down. And um, I feel like that's, that's going to be better for you. That's where you'll find your peace. That's where you'll see the errors of your ways. You know, I, I, I think, you know, I'm not that, I'm not trying to get down on you, but the, you'll see that there could be a different approach. You'll see that, because obviously this approach is not working for you guys, you know. Uh, you, you know, there's a conflict here. And it does show as a queen, so a lot of cases it might be the woman, but it could be anybody, you know. I, I do feel like a sort of, um, I feel like you feel like an authoritative thing to them, too. So that's why I say, well, maybe it's the boss, maybe it's the parent. Uh, but if it even if it is your spouse, maybe that's the part that, you know, you're feeling like that way towards your spouse. You know, that they have, um, that they're kind of running things, or they're doing things with the finances that you don't like, you know. And um, well, somebody's definitely doing things with finances that you don't like. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I don't. Again, is it the company you work for, or whoever business partner, marital partner, parent? But you're feeling like they're they're in charge, and you're not having a say so. Um, but you you do have you have influence. You could have influence here, and your ideas are good. I keep wanting to come back that you have good ideas. I'm not saying you're wrong. I feel like you are right, and your ideas are very good. But um, again, it's how you're presenting it. I've never seen this before on this card. I was just looking at over here and I saw this hermit. Doesn't that look like a face? Like a face of a... I don't know if you can see that. A face of a... a let's see, like this is the eyes, nose, mouth. And they're wearing... It's either a beard or they're wearing some... Like maybe that's like a rabbi's hat. Or they're wearing some kind of hair coming out of here. So I don't know what the heck that would mean. I don't even know what it means, but I definitely saw it. Maybe it's a statue or something. I don't know if you guys can see that. That just popped. I've never seen that on that card before. That just kind of popped out at me, those mountains. So maybe it's Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but um, so you catch more f bees or flies with sugar than however that goes. You know, it's, it's, try it's like, oh, this was this way. It was like, um, you know, back off, give them a little space. Throw those little feathers out there instead of bricks. Instead of throwing bricks at somebody, toss out a few feathers. You know, food for thought. And, ch you know, you like that mental challenge. So that's something you could challenge yourself with mentally. Like, uh, how could I subtly suggest this to somebody to where they come around and they don't get a f um, on the defense. They don't get defensive. So I'm feeling like there's a lot of defensive stuff going on right now. Okay, Gemini. Uh, and oh, your birthday! This is this powerful time to make some changes. If you're if you're a June Gemini, big time powerful. And the 16th is the new moon in Gemini, so that is your new moon. It's more powerful than any New Year's Eve stuff. It's your solar return. It's your solar new year. This is the time to write down your manifestations. This is the time to make your plans for the year. This is the time to do your resolutions. Okay, we're going to take a look at your animal totem cards for Gemini. And we're going to pull a card from my deck that I personally designed. The uh, Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. And they're available for sale if you wanted to get a deck for yourself. So what's the... I think i got more than one there. What is the animal totem card for Gemini? Here we go. Rabbit. I know one of the things about Rabbit is being uh, timid, but let's read what I wrote. Sensitive, artistic, clever, nimble, outsmarting adversaries by staying one step ahead, taking colossal leaps and sprinting into the future, heightened libido and procreation. Well, it does apply to the spread. It does apply to what I'm saying, outsmarting them, because that's really what you'll do. It's like make them think that it's their idea, you know, um, and you're, you're capable of doing that, you know. Clever. You're definitely clever. Um, and because Rabbit shows up, I think things could just take a jump by leaps and bounds, you know. And um, the Rabbit, you know, uh, things seem to be stagnant, but then they could just all of a sudden change. You could make a huge leap forward, a huge uh, thing here. I'm also feeling like compromise can be made. 
and rabbits are very timid and you know think about if you're trying to get a rabbit to come to you to eat out of your hand is being aggressive and um, telling them that they're stupid or they don't know what they're talking about or anything like is that gonna get that rabbit to come to you this is the rabbit you know how are you gonna get it to come to you all right take a minute to look at this card too because it was my intention when I created these cards I hope we're not getting a lot of shadow that there be images and there be things in these cards just like I just saw in that hermit so if you see anything you know definitely let me know and if you see a rabbit in nature or just on TV or whatever it may be, know that that's confirmation. I love to hear about that stuff in the comments, too. If you see the, the totems or if you get anything off of these cards, I'd really like to hear about it. Okay, stay tuned. We'll be back with more info in just a second. Have a great June and do your manifestations. It's your birthday. Hey, everyone. Before we go, if you go on my main channel, you can find out more information about me, including how to get a reading. Um, and you can check out, there's a bunch of links here. I have a couple of other channels, a music channel, and then a children's music channel, the Learning Songs for Kids. So if you like, have little kids or anybody, you can find links to all that on my main page. Uh, under the About section, you can find everything. How to order. I do the personalized mandalas, my books. It's all listed here. And that's at the top if you're on Home. This is the main channel page. You go Home. And then it's videos, playlists, channels, discussions about. Also, I believe I will have a link, a subscribe link on the video itself. And then it, I, I usually say something like goods and services. Well, that'll take you to it. Where that actually takes you to is this Order a Mandala page, which is the Tapestry of Life. But there's all sorts of stuff. If you keep going down here, you've got the animal totem cards. There's a link below to buy that. And um, all the readings. See, it says readings. And I have all the readings. There's personal readings. And then at the very bottom, too, is make a donation. I am usually try to keep it booking like two weeks out or so. I try not to let it get too far beyond there. I'll start filling in holes. But um, I try to stay like two to three weeks out on the booking so you don't have to wait uh, months or anything to get a, a reading with me. Um, if you're watching this to learn how to read tarot, if you noticed I had the book there, it's Tarot in the Modern World. I wrote this book on tarot. It's a real good, easy to understand um, book about tarot. Um, it's available on Amazon, Tarot in the Modern World. There's links to that. And then, of course, the uh, Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, which I um, pulled for you at the very end of the last reading. You know, that's also going to be on here on the, uh, you can get it from the About section or from this Order the Mandala page. So it's all there, you know, it's all, it's all there. And the Goods and Services, I believe, takes you to this Order the Mandala page, okay? All right, so have a great June. Remember, you are love and beauty incarnate, and I'll speak to you soon.